So yesterday was the first day that you could play games for KOK. It's the third year of the competition and it is the biggest My Team tournament there is, as far as I know. While in previous years YouTubers like Cash Nasty, people like that have played, this year there are still some quite big YouTubers and streamers, mostly streamers, with TTG, Ambish, um, Los, Caldi, Carlos Story. Not that many YouTubers in it this year, but it's still quite a big tournament. But anyway, I entered it and I entered as the Grizzlies. Yeah, I don't understand why. I did stream this game yesterday and it is just highlights of the stream, but anyway we are playing a guy named Sports in the House who was actually one of the favourites for this tournament, so let's see how I got on. Okay, so we are going to be playing in this video a game in the KOK3 tournament that I am screwed in. Like, I picked the Grizzlies, I'm not going to win, and I'm not going to be anywhere close in this game. Why did I choose the Grizzlies? Because I had every one of these players except Vince Carter and I was like, I'm not bothered buying an entire new team for terms I may get knocked out of in the prelims. And then I managed to get auto bid and realize how screwed I actually am. Is there not a fifth diamond? There was literally four, five diamonds and one of them is Diamond Vince Carter. And I can't actually use Diamond Vince Carter because I don't have a million empty. That is literally, I can't use Alan Iverson. Um, question is, do I want to get myself kicked out of the tournament? I don't think I can use, I can use Jason Williams, but I'd rather not use him. Do I want to get kicked out of tournaments? All right, so, well, he's going Spencer Haywood. It's all right, off the bench, he's got, oh, he's got shoes on his players. Oh, to be fair, I think I might do as well. I'm not entirely sure if I have shoes or not. Um, yeah, I do have shoes, I do Raheem's 90. Oh, man. I should have read the rules before I entered this tournament. Surely Chandler passed the second position. Oh, that's fair enough. Um, I need Tony Allen to lock up Smith. I need Tony Allen to lock up AI. I genuinely don't know what the KOK rules are. The fact that for three and a half seasons, for two and a half seasons, Tayshawn Prince played for the Grizzlies, but I can't use him. But AI played less than that for the Nuggets, and he's allowed to use AI. The rules are just weird, and I'm not a fan of them. Especially the rookie contract rule. Like, I shouldn't be allowed to use Kyle Lowry. I really shouldn't. But, um... Let's win the tip. Or let's play one defense and make a sub. Backcourt. There we go. Shooting guy. So he's not a point... So I can't put Tony Allen point guard off my bench. Um, who can I put a point off my bench? So I gotta actually go with Kyle Lowry. Which I didn't want to do. Screw it, Miller. No. S yeah, screw it, Mike Miller. He's long. He's long. Mike Miller's going in there. Fade away, 99, green light, there we go. Bang. Let's go, Mike Conley. Oh, yes, buddy, hey. let's go. There we go. We have now got the five point lead to start off the game. Oh, lag, bad enough lag. There we go. Nice finish, Zach Randolph. There we go. I gotta like think whether I'm spamming anything because I'm just playing the way I naturally play and that's probably against the tournament rules. His bench is far better than my bench, so. Like you shouldn't be allowed. Like if you're not allowed zone, you shouldn't be allowed to steal inbound passes. That's just my opinions on this. Iguodala played one season for the Nuggets. Why is he allowed to play for them? What? Why is Iguodala play for the Nuggets? He played literally one season for the Nuggets and went to the Warriors after he got traded from Sixes. Okay, so you got a four-point lead at the end of the first. Oh, Pe Pel Gasol just stopped my... Just genuinely stopped. Not my Connie. Kyle Lowry. God, Pel Gasol. Just stopped his own player from playing defense. Oh damn! They, you should not be allowed to steal inbounds passes. If that's if you're not if it's a no cheese tournament, you should not be allowed to steal inbounds passes. If there's gonna be so many rules, that should be one of them. Bang! Green light. Let's go. Gotta keep moving around AI. No drill moves in front of him. And just keep moving. There we go. 
Because with AI steer rating, he's going to get a ton of steers. Bad, bad. Into Abdul Rahim. Make that, make that. I'll take the free throws. I'm good with that. I'm one. I'm one Sharif Abdul Rahim. There we go. He is an absolute beast. Boom. Seven point lead. Oh, Abdul Rahim. Abdul Rahim. Is dominating. Yeah, it's way from to press the steal button. He's gonna come out. Way from to come out. And there we go. Bang, green light. We gotta abuse his kind of he likes to steal the ball a lot, and we gotta use that to our advantage. It's like we have a worse team, so we gotta figure out what his like the flaws are in his game and just exploit them. And that's the only thing i found so far, is that he likes to go for steals. Wait till it looks like he's going to press steal button. And we're gone. There we go, Abdul Rahim to the line again. Kyle Lowry from deep. Yes, Abdul Rahim. Abdul Rahim is the GOAT. Abdul Rahim is the GOAT. Oh my god! <laughs> Abdul Rahim is the goat! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sharif Abdul Rahim is the goat! <laughs> like, there's no, there's no question about it, he is the goat! Full court? No. That's alright, 14 point halftime lead. We still could easily, easily blow this lead. Yes, Mike Miller. I'm not even pressing anything to got that. Oh, pull up green light. 17 point lead. Oh, he's he's panicking. He is panicking. So now let's slow the game down because he is big time panicking here. Lay that in. There we go. And make sure he's like he's panicking. He's gonna take quick shots. Let's make sure that they're contested shots and they're not easy shots. So he wins this game shooting contested shots against me like I'm going hats off to him. Especially if he makes his comeback. Where was Randolph? And he missed the blue layup. Someone's going to be open there. Hand in his face. Slow it down. Slow it down. Saw the hook. There we go. This is up to 20. Okay, Miller is long, so he's going to be able to just kind of semi-contest. That's a bad pass, though. Okay, now let's... Okay. Apparently, Shane Battier was wide open, but he ran into Greg Popovich, his coach. There we go. Great cut, Shane Battier. Okay. Oh, bad pass. Okay. How did we get away with that? How did we just get away with that? <laughs> How did we get away with that? Oh my god. <laughs> we are getting... This is the luckiest game of 2K I've ever had. And because of that, I would not put it past me still losing this game. Got a basket. Oh, midi. I did not mean to do that. I didn't even press that button. I did not mean to do that. I'm getting so lucky. It's unbelievable. Bang. There we go, Chandler Parsons for three. Yes, Abdul Rahim, the GOAT, Abdul Rahim. <laughs> Bang. Good rebound. Vince Carter for three. Vince Carter hits the three point shot. 26 point lead. Okay, Carl there, we got lucky there. Someone help him. And he's just given a, oh, a Hail Mary pass to Pau Gasol. That went off. Um, no, 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 I can't make that sub. I don't want to get kicked out of this tournament for playing someone for five seconds. I, it's so hard to make these subs because I don't know who I can play and who I can't. I'm going to give the lads a run out, like, put Marc Gasol in the center. And Gasol draws a foul. 
That's a hit in these six seconds. I'm not going to push for 20 points. I'll take the 18 point or 17 point, whatever it is, win. I will gladly take that. We actually saw 61% to be fair. But featuring Abdul Rahim. 17 points, 4 rebounds, 5 of 6 in the field with a plus 9. The GOAT. Um, team comparison, we just, we got lucky. We just got really, really lucky. So anyway, that's the video. If any of you guys were in a stream last night and watched up to this point, thank you. And we are actually playing against another one of the favorites for this tournament in the next round. We are playing against Kaldi and his Warriors team. So, whereas we have some of the worst times in the game apart from Marc he's got 98 overall Curry, 98 overall Durant, I think he has Pink Diamond Will Chamberlain, so we are pretty much screwed. If we can pull off the win in this game, it'll be the biggest upset probably in the tournament's history. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will tweet out, follow me on Twitter, I will be tweeting out when I'm playing Caldi, and I'm not entirely sure yet whether I'm going to be streaming out of this or Twitch, and I will let you guys know in advance. So anyway, thanks for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe.